Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. We're doing a studio tour, and we're going to do a little craft with me session today. I'm excited because I have got enough of the studio cleaned up that we can craft together. I am excited. As you can see behind me, I have my bookcases. They're filled with all kinds of yummy things. I am still on my camera, you guys. I am very sorry about that. I'm still looking for my video editor and I don't have my camera and my um, computer set up out here yet. But it's coming. It, it's all It's all coming, all of it. So I'm going to pick up the tripod and I'm going to show you all of the studio. So let me pick it up. So I'm over here at the camera and I can't bring the legs in, I don't think. Mm, let's see if I can. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, I got the legs in. Look, you guys, I've got lights above the windows right there. And I still have to work on those beads right there. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut them off and fix that. But it's it's a work in process and here is the bookcase it's all filled with all kinds of yummy things there are pieces of ephemera there are finished journals it's oh uh, it, it was hard to decide what i wanted to put up there but there's a station right there and then we've got the island and oh let me go here by the front door i'm at the front door and you can see all the things that we're going to use today with our crafting session today and then i didn't turn the lights on over there i think i need to do that so let me walk over and get those lights and i'll turn you this way so you can see something instead of me and turning on the lights Whoa, sorry about that guys I think you got tipped a little there we go now we have lights turning around here so this is still you know showing you uh, things that I still have to go through but I've got my couch over there I've got my paint in its little stand I've got my lamp up I've got my coverings on my cooler there you guys See the covering so you can't see inside anymore uh, you can see on top of the cooler I've got that all decorated I can see the light at the end of the tunnel you guys I really can now I still have to take everything off these shelves and I need to paint the green right there you can see it's blue it needs to be green so I still need to do that I'm I'm waiting for my granddaughter uh, she's gonna help me so yeah that's where we're at and i'm really really pleased with what i've accomplished because look at that open space yay <laughs> underneath there that table that right there that's all the empty clean containers that we can use to organize so let me set you back over here i'm going to open up the tripod and we're gonna have a little session today. And what I wanna do today, the first thing I, I've actually been wanting to do this out here for quite some time. I, I used to do it out here when it was a flower shop. Let me see if you're all in line. I gotta move you over just a little bit. Is with my granddaughter, we used to coffee dyed papers and we used to make the wildest coolest papers out here. I think I need to move you over just a little bit so you can see me. I'm not used to being on camera. I am in a man's shirt and I bought it at the thrift store. I'm in some crazy looking pants just in case I splatter. I didn't want to get this because now coffee, you can get that out, but this other stuff, I don't know about that. All right, I'm hoping I can't. I don't forget that. I'm going to set that right there. So let's bring our coffee slurry in this is our coffee slurry and this is just water in here just water i've got some um 
different types of coffee. I wanted to talk about that for a few minutes. Now, I've said in my videos before that I like to mix my coffee. Um, there, if you look at it, when you go to the store and you look at the coffee, it's different colors. The coffee is definitely different colors. And I like to get different colors and I like to mix them together. And that's what I like to do. So that's just a little, uh, you know, show in, to show you how I do it. I've got a box of sponges. Now I like to paint my coffee slurry or my colored um, colors on with my brushes. So, you know, that one's got some stuff on it. This is a little big. I don't know if this one will fit. I think it'll fit in my in my dishes. I have some dishes here. That was pretty hard. Those three are good. Let's try those. I'm not sure how many I need. All right, and then I've got I've got some things that I've been dissolving. There's pink. I think this is green. I think that's orange. There's yellow. Here's red, and here's blue. Alrighty, and so I need to add a little bit more water. Now, people are saying, how'd you get those colors, Kathy? Well, I have a video that tells you how I got these colors, but it's really not so much of a secret anymore. I use Easter egg dye and it's food grade so you know it's wonderful and i think this is going to be pretty strong but we're going to hopefully it'll work out i did dissolve it in just a little bit of vinegar i did it on all the colors i didn't follow any rules <laughs> this one is having a little harder time completely dissolving i mean it's probably been sitting in there an hour so it took that one a long time. I think it's orange. All right, so we've got our pretty colors. Maybe we'll just set them going this way. Let me see those. I think you can see that better that way. And let's see, what else do I have? I have, I set my water here, Ooh, you guys, I can't forget that, that we're going to have our drawing. I also think that I might need to talk a little bit louder because my camera's over there. And that's where the microphone is, too. Just wiping up a little water. So I've got these little, I think they're yogurt dishes. And I've got some paint. I've got some metallic deco art splendid gold here. I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to um, put out, oh, I think that's kind of cold. <laughs> Let's shake it really well. Okay. I need to shake it up some more. I need to go over there and get some different. This is the ones that have been out here in the shop. Well, I still keep calling it a flower shop. It's no longer a flower shop, Kathy. It's your studio now. Yeah. And then the black. This is this is Apple Barrel Black. And so they're different name brands. I might have to walk over there and see about getting a... Um, oh, that one's just perfectly fine. And someone's going to say, how much did you squirt out? Well... There's the black and there's the gold, but I really need to walk right over here for just a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I didn't think that gold was going to be like that. This is Deco Art Bright Brass. And it's not going to hurt a thing if we mix it up. I don't know how this is going to do. Oh, that's much better. 
Okay, that looks like that. Okay, so I've got that. I don't need this one. Set this over here aside. What's in here? Oh, alcohol is in here in a spray bottle. So I've got some alcohol. You need to add a little bit of water to this right here. So I'm going to add water. I was just looking up to see if I'm still in screen, and I am. There we go. Mix in a little water. I've got a couple of little wooden sticks. I'm just going to mix this up. Might have added too much water. We shall see. I might have to add a little bit more. I think why I still can, I'm going to pour some of this water out, guys. So I'm going over to the door. So I poured a little bit of that water out. And just have to mix it up. Mix it up. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is add bright brass. I think that's the color that that was, it was good. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to add more. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. I have too much water in here. So that's going to be really pretty. Okay. So, then what do I have? Oh, I have some salt. Yeah, I've got some salt. What else do I have? This is water in here. Spray bottle of water. I've got this to remind me that this is my coffee so i'm going to pour my coffee in here okay we've got the coffee in there and now what do i have oh i actually brought some gloves i usually do not wear gloves or i do not wear gloves when i coffee dye but this easter egg dye and i'll show you you know from an easter egg kit that's pretty, um, yeah, it's pretty potent stuff, and I really didn't want to walk around. I have to go to the grocery store later today. I didn't want to have all these wild colors on my hands. Now, what are we going to dye? Well, we've got a lot of things to try. I have a placemat. Looks like that. Placemat. I have some um, little tiny envelopes. They're very tiny, little itty bitty envelopes. I have some lined um, index cards. I have some envelopes like this, this type of envelope, a few of those. I have some long um, envelopes, and I have some shorter envelopes. I have some doilies. We have some grid paper. I have some white paper folders you know, with the pockets. So that would be fun to do that. I've got copy weight copy paper. I've got lined free reading notebook lined paper and I have cardstock and <laughs> I have a couple of manila file folders. Oh, and the last thing I grabbed was I grabbed move this over here. I grabbed that paper pad that we were working on because I had some people say, how do you copy dye that? Let's just address that right now. I'm gonna take out a page right out of here. Like that. And we're going to put on our gloves now before I forget, because I'll get going and I'll forget. I need to get a little drink. This is so different 
this video <laughs> as opposed to the way I'm used to making a video. I hope you're close enough. Maybe I should move this. Close enough. Are we close enough? Okay, there's the paper. And we're going to copy dye this. There's the coffee slurry. And let's go ahead and get one of these little, well, let's get a bigger sponge because I don't know if it'll fit in there. Oh, not very well. Doesn't fit in here very well either. So you're going to load up your sponge with some coffee slurry and you're simply going to paint it on. Just like that, you guys. Just like painting. Nothing to it. It's easy, it's fun, it smells divine. And you just, simple as that. Okay, and you only do one side. There it is. When it dries, it'll definitely, you know, we'll look at all of them when we're done. I'm going to set that aside. Now, because I have just painted on there, and because I can paint on my table, it's a stone island. Then I can just wipe it off and we can keep going. Okay, so next, what do we want to dye next? Some people ask me, how do you dye envelopes? Well, then let's just address that. We've got a little tiny envelope. We've got a top loading envelope. I've got a medium size envelope and a large size. I don't know the numbers of these guys, these things. I don't pay any attention to the sizes. I don't know, I guess I should, but I don't. So it goes little, next, next, and next. Okay, so let's, let's do a coffee dyed one. So this is my coffee slurry. And I always leave on the, the little sticker that, you take off to stick down because it well it's just not going to be good anymore but i leave it on because i don't want my paper to be so sticky that it will uh, stick it closed so i just leave it on and i take my sponge and i just paint it on just like that you guys just like that <laughs> it's really quite pretty isn't it it really is. I'm going to set this aside, looking at my time, because I don't know about this phone and the time. And sometimes if I've got stuff, I'll set it on top because that will be darker. Those are the spots that will be darker. And, and I like to have different types of mm, coffee dyed paper. I don't, I kind of like it different. I don't want it all perfect and all the same. I think it is very interesting if you can change it up. Now here, you have to be careful because there was no little strip to take off the sticky. So the sticky is now sticky because I have just added moisture to it. So that's very sticky. So you must remember this part is very sticky. So you must remember where you set it, you need to, you know, not have something set on top of it because it will, um, it will glue itself to it. So I, I open it up like this. And I'm just picking up the, the pieces, the, the moisture, like that. I just pick it up with that. I don't start this way. I start open. If you start closed, your envelope's going to end up closed. If that's, you'll have to cut it open, okay? So I start with mine open, like that. It doesn't matter which side you start on. It was, you know, there's no rules to this stuff. And just paint. And then you have to set it to dry. So if I had a, if I, if I had a video editor, I could show them sun drying out in the sun and 
then bringing them in and oh I could do all kinds of things guys but right now you're stuck with me on the phone <laughs> and we're working it out right okay so there we go all nicely nicely done now let's try let's try a piece of cardstock and let's change it up and I'm actually not going to wipe this up I'm going to just go like this. Okay. And then, oh, I haven't brought this in yet. I've got some things in my little basket. I have got a fan brush. Can you see that fan brush? I've got regular brushes. And I have one of these. I have no idea what it's called. But it's really pretty cool. And it um, it allows you here, to make splatters. This is why we're wearing the shirt. Because we're splattering now, guys. And it's really pretty cool. Can you see that we're splattered? If I turn it, it's gonna drip. Well, who cares if it drips? There, I just splattered it on there. Okay, so let's put on, let's do this red. I'm very interested with this red. Move the little basket out of the way. And let's try this red. Let's paint right on the top. Now this paint had not dried yet, so if you don't want it to smear, you definitely need to let it dry. So now let's see, let's turn it over and let's put some more coffee. I like the coffee with the pink. I thought that was really pretty. Okay. So it's just here and there guys, just here and there. Now let's try the pink. I mean, I could spend all day out here just making all kinds of wild concoctions. And <laughs> this is just right up my alley. Sometimes my granddaughter and I, we have stayed out here all day making wild concoctions. And then I make it into a journal for her, all her papers. Oh, look at that. Now, I want to try something else, and it might be a little late, but... I think it has to be wet. I think it has to be wet. Yeah, nothing's happening. Let me shake it off. Well, it's stuck on there. Okay. How did we do that last year? Let me set this over here. Let's get another piece of paper. Let's get, uh, oh, let's get a, an index card. And um, let's use a different color orange. I keep thinking about fall, guys. I know it's just beginning to be summer. I keep thinking about fall. I think, ooh, fall things. Fall journals. Fall colors. I don't know why. I'm always thinking ahead. It's not that I don't enjoy summer. I most certainly do. Maybe it's because it's so hot already. Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, so let's try, now I did this, and this one is the black, so let's try the, the fan brush with the gold, and I don't know, I might have made it too, too weak, but let's give it a go. And I know I need to let these things dry better. Whoa, 
That looks cool. Okay, now let's try this real fast. I think you have to do it when it's wet. I don't know. Last year we used that and it was so cool. Okay, what time is it? Maybe it takes a few minutes. I don't know. It's not doing anything. That's the way it looks. It's still very pretty. I wish I could remember what did we do that made that so cool. I'm going to spurt some alcohol on there. It is interacting with the alcohol, but I don't think that's what we did. Let me get, here's our regular brush. And, because I don't know if you're interested in any of this, but I'm having the best time. <laughs> I am having the best time just playing just out here playing and making all kinds of things. That would definitely be pretty as fall. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna get mixed up with what's what. I'm gonna have some black. Woo, that is very, very pretty. I really like that. I'm looking for um, a needed pen. Here's a pen. Sometimes when your paper gets really stuck down, I take a pen and just put it underneath and it helps me get that paper up. I know some people might think, well, that's just hideous. But I think it's really cool. What time is it? All right, you guys, how about, let's see. Let's do... We did one of those. Let's do. Oh, we haven't done a doily. Let's do a doily. And uh, let's do a doily on one of these file folder things. And we're going to have to clean up, I'm afraid. Time for cleanup. What color was that? I don't remember. Point. Goodness, that's where I get myself in trouble. Okay, let's clean that up just a little bit. All right, so let's do a file folder. We have a little bit more time. Let's do a blue file folder. Why not, right? And let's put a doily on it. All right, so... Holding your doily down. Oh, well, this is interesting. It's kind of, um, it's repelling it just a little, so I'm not sure how it will all turn out. But you know, sometimes you just have to experiment with things. I love to experiment to see what happens. And this is definitely an experimenting day. This doily is liable to uh, maybe not turn out perfect, but sometimes perfect is not always the best. So I'm just brushing it on. I'll pick it up when I'm able to in just a second. Let me get this on here. So I don't want my doily to move. I want my doily to stay in place. This is a beautiful cover, color. I love that already. Okay, that's how that looks. Now I'm going to have to let that dry a little bit more. So let's do another one because I really like that. 
So I brought, I think I brought two of those out. Here's the other one. Okay. And maybe we want to do a different color. So I'm going to wipe up what was on the table. And let's move this aside. Whoa. You know, I'm going to be spending time out here uh, finishing all these papers. <laughs> um, let's do, let's do the orange. I think we'll do the orange and the yellow together. How about that for fun? Orange and yellow together. So here we are. This is the other little paper holder that you can purchase when school starts and you can get them so very, well you used to be able to get them so very inexpensive, who knows what's going to happen, but they're not as, as expensive as like the plastic ones. So what I want to do is, there, I've got that part down, so it's just like that. I'm going in with the yellow. My nose is bothering me out here for some reason. Okay, move this aside. And oh goodness, it's real pretty. I think that doily moved a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it. Goodness gracious, isn't that pretty? Now, let's go over here. We'll, let's wipe this up. We don't want to get our blue with our yellow. Looks like a neck green. Okay. Now, let's get our pin. Let's lift up our doily. Oh, you guys! And look how pretty that color is of that doily. So we save our doily because, whoa, because that's something. Look at this, you guys. Look how pretty that turned out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is really nice. Here, I'll pop that over there. And how did this one turn out? Oh, <laughs> That one, well, let's show you the doily. The doily's beautiful, too. And then, <laughs> look at this, you guys. Look how pretty that is. Oh, goodness gracious, that's bright and perky, isn't it? What haven't we done? Oh, we haven't done the, the mat this thing. We haven't done the mat. I'm not sure. It's not real flat, so that's what worries me, because it's not completely flat. But sometimes, I think this is the flattest part, sometimes not turning out perfect is really pretty. So, the way I think we do this is Let's go ahead and get our coffee dyed stuff. I'm going to forget that coffee dyed, and I will. I'll forget. As long as I don't stick it in the yellow. Okay. Let's coffee dye this. This is, uh, what is this? This is cardstock. And I'm going to coffee dye it heavily. Just looking to see what you see here, guys. I know it's a different angle for me. When I get my camera set up, hopefully I'll be able to put it in different positions. And let's lay this over, under, I mean, put this underneath, just like that. I think this is the way you do this. I thought let it sit there for a little bit. In the meantime, let's have our drawing for Happy Mail.
What is Kathy Sewing Happiness all about? It's you helping me spread happiness through simple acts of kindness. Letting someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they only have two. Letting uh, traffic in, in line ahead of you. Oh, I love that one. I don't know what it is, you guys. Why doesn't anybody want anybody to go ahead of them? I don't get that. But anyway, if you do that one, please don't let more than one in because that only makes the other people angry because you've let a bunch of cars in and we don't want to get anybody angry at us. If you would like to enter into Kathy Sewing Happiness Weekly Sunday Drawing for Happy Meal, what you'll need to do is you'll need to, down in the comment section of the most recent Kathy Sewing Happiness video, tell me your act of kindness. If you wish not to say your act of kindness, that's okay too. Just type in spreading happiness and that will be your entry. So if you enter in, please check back next week to see if your name's been pulled out of the fishbowl. Now, when I pull the name out of the fishbowl, two things I ask of you. One <clears throat> is that you don't say congratulations so-and-so because some people just look at the comment section, see if they've won they won and they get all happy and then they forget that they have to give me your address and then they're confused or upset because I didn't get their ad get their happy mail to them. I have to have your address or I can't send you the happy mail. So please don't say who's won. And the other thing is that it does is it takes away their happiness and crazy as it may seem, it's pretty exciting when your name gets pulled out of the fishbowl, right? Right. So let's see who's won happy mail this week from me to you. That's my way of paying it forward. And don't forget, we're going to look at this piece of paper here. I have no idea if it's done anything. And we'll look at uh, some of the other ones, I think. Okay, let's see. Who's one happy? Ethel Taylor, 3138. Ethel, you won happy mail from me to you. That's my way of paying it forward. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. I think I'll try that again. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.